CFR is the coronary flow reserve. And in simple words, and that's how I explain it to my patients, is the capacity of the coronary circulation or coronary flow to augment in response to exercise or quote unquote hyperemia, which are, we are using as a surrogate to simulate exercise. Not necessarily the exact same physiological findings, but hyperemia is what we use to simulate stress or exercise uh, to involve the heart. So CFR is technically, you need coronary flow reserve, which is coronary flow at rest and coronary flow at exercise or hyperemia. And then you take that ratio. That value is different. The absolute coronary flow is different from human to human. We should all be able as humans to at least, at least double that number up. Hence the number, the CFR of two or 2.5 is what we look for. Technical aspects of doing the procedure also affected. For example, the guide is not fully engaged the saline is swirling in the coronary cusp. Not much of the three cc's that you injected are reaching the um, the temperature sensor on your wire. Guess what? That will take longer time. Give the illusion that your CFR is low. Um, same thing if your wire moves. If your wire moves between phases, then you will might you might have shorter times, longer times, just because of the physical position of the wire that changed. For that reason, CFR could be variable. But again you have to use it in context with the clinical scenario for why the patient is on the table. That's CFR. IMR is index of microcirculatory um, uh, resistance. And all we're looking for here, we're looking for the lowest pressure that I could obtain distally in the distal circulation, distal vessel. The computer always picked the lowest. Number two value to obtain IMR is time in hyperemia, the transient time in hyperemia. You take that time, you multiply it by the lowest PD at hyperemia, you'll get your index of microvascular resistance, which is more specific to the microcirculation than CFR. And a value of um, more than or equal to 25 is a problem. You need to figure out. Now, even that, that number is different from patient to another or patient population to another. And I'll tell you what that means. We pick 25 as a surrogate for all population. Certain patients, such as post heart transplant patients, a value of 16 in recent publications has indicated that there is rejection or changes in the microcirculation. So a value of 16 in a heart transplant is actually more prognostically important and it's earlier than 25. In a post MI, in someone who had an MI and you put a stent, a value of 40 determines prognosis. That's the cutoff. Why? Because it's, it's a virtue of a disease when you put a stent and you throw microemboli or clots down the, the circulation, by virtue you will have some microvascular dysfunction. So if I use 25, every post MI will have an IMR of 25. That's not necessarily representative of the actual disease. 40 is the cutoff, but 25 is value universalis. That's what we're going to use to represent the whole population. If you if you um, rewind and hear my IMR um, explanation, IMR takes the lowest PD multiplied by the transient hyperemic time. It's that's lowest PD. It's a snapshot. It's one picture of a time. RRR it takes all PD, all IMRs throughout the whole hyperemic phase which means it gives you a more representation of the entire cyclic changes, beat to beat variation throughout the whole time you're recording hyperemia. So RRR is almost the continuous resistance in the microcirculation. It takes IMR at every single point of that hyperemic phase. We believe anything above 3.6 is normal. Anything below 3.6 is abnormal. So the RRR is essentially the CFR of the microbed. The CFR of the microbed, you got it. Your IMR corrected and CFR normalized takes into account what would you be your value if your FFR was one. If your FFR is is um, is low secondary to a 70% stenosis, guess what? You got to believe it. You got to go with that. You don't need to correct for it. Um, certain times when we had spoken about why LAD? I'm going to get you back to the technical aspect. Yep. Um, and what do you do if the LAD is dual LAD? 
It's two small LEDs that reach the apex. What if the LED is very tortuous at the end? Do you pick something else? And I told you in my practice, I do recommend if the LED is too tortuous, if the takeoff is in a bad angle, I'm not going to wire an, an, an LED that is uh, a cause of a problem. I would rather go somewhere else. And if you believe in microcirculation as a representative of a universal problem, a systemic issue with the heart, then you could find it in any zip code and any highway that supplies any zip code, LED, CERC, RCA, it doesn't matter. However, certain cases like today, I did a case, I was obligated to go down the LED because it's the least tortuous of all. Now, I put the wire down as distal as I can at the two third um, um, uh, segments of the um, uh, distal portion of the LED. And then I have multiple um, 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 pseudo stenoses or wire biased stenoses created by the wire straightening the corkscrew looking of LED. In that case, my FFR get out of whack because now I have multiple serial tandem lesions that they don't exist. So my FFR is too low. It's 0 0.81, 0 0.82, almost borderline-ish. But I know that's not true because there is nothing in the LED. It's all created iatrogenically by my wire. At that time, your IMR corrected and CFR normalized takes into account what would you be your value if your FFR was one. And that's what I want you to pay attention to. So I go to my corrected if or my normal FFR, CFR um, uh, value if my FFR is out of whack, knowingly that it's something I caused, but I know the artery was normal. I know this is iatrogenic pseudostenosis that I created. I, I ignored my first raw values, IMR and CFR, and I went to the corrected IMR, normalized CFR that assumes in the calculation by the software that your FFR is one. That would be your representation. Does RRR become affected at all? from those corrected values, or you do believe your RRR no matter what? I believe my RRR no matter what. 